In this example, we're asked to graph two circles. Uh, the first one is x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 4. This brings us to standard form for a circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And what that means is that the center is hk and the radius is r. So note that you have to essentially change the signs of these terms inside the parentheses to get the center. So in part A we have a center, okay our center here is negative 3, 4, okay and the radius is 2, right, because 4 is r squared, so we take the square root of 4 to get the radius, 2. Okay, so if you really want to be technical about this, you could rewrite this as x minus a negative 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 4, and then you can see very clearly you have your h and your k. But usually I just think of it as, as taking whatever sign you have, changing it, and it gives you your, your center as needed. Okay, well let's graph this thing. So we go 3 to the left, up 4. So there's our center, which technically isn't part of the circle, but it ends up getting graphed anyway. And radius is 2. Okay, so I'm going to go to the right, 2, up 2, 2 to the left, and 2 down. That gives me a nice outline of what my circle will look like. And then you just connect all the outer dots there to make a nice circle. We already know it's a circle, so there's no guessing on what the shape looks like in general. There we go. And this radius here is 2. Anywhere you draw the radius, it's going to be 2. Let's just draw a 2, though that's not necessary either. Okay, let's look at B. B is kind of in a strange form here because we have these weird 5s, right? We don't want those 5s right there because our standard form has no coefficients out in front. So I am going to divide both sides by 5 to get rid of those 5s out front. That leaves us with x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 10. And now we have our circle with the center of 2, negative 1. Remember we changed the signs on these values inside the parentheses there to get our h and k just right for our center. And then our radius, well let's see, this bit here, this 10, is r squared. So if we have r squared equals 10, the radius must be the square root of that. Well, that's just the square root of 10, which is not a nice number, right? I don't know what the square root of 10 is because 10 is not a perfect square. So we're going to have to break out a calculator and get an estimate for the square root of 10 to be able to graph this thing. Mine comes to about 3.16. Okay, close enough. So let's do our center. We have 2 over 2 to the right and down 1. There's our center. And then we'll go about 3.16 to the right. So there's 3. So there's a little bit above 3. 1, 2, 3 and a little further up. 1, 2, 3 and a little further to the left. And 1, 2, 3 and a little further down. It's hard to get exactly square root of 10 for the radius, so we just do the best we can. Then we connect those outer dots, and that gives us our circle. All right, something like that. There we go, a reasonable circle. Okay.